I shall take a look at Bow Wow's recent tweet. Can we please bring back artist development at these labels? Do these labels even care about these artists? Y'all be throwing them on platforms knowing they're not ready. A boxer is trained and taught before battle. We just keep throwing these subpar bleep artists out here with no proper teaching. What do you think has ticked Bow Wow off, Al? What do you think about this? And is he right? I think he's probably ticked off because you have people like Ice Spice, Sexy Red, and, and Blueface. All these people are, don't have to put in as much work as that young man did in order to be a superstar. And these people have jumped the line and they're more famous with more followers. This is the deal. It would make sense if artist development didn't exist. The deal or the argument that you should be making, Little Bow Wow, is that artist development should come back in funding more for the urban genre with the big record labels. The record labels definitely have artist development. That's how Harry, was his name, Harry Skiles or whatever his name is, that's, that's how he is such a big star. In different genres, different record labels, a lot more money for artist development. Unfortunately, in the urban music space, they don't have to because it doesn't take a lot for us as consumers to uptake their ridiculousness. They don't have to be talented. They don't have to know how to dance, sing, and all of that anymore. They just have to be ridiculous. So there you have it. It's a reason that artist development doesn't exist, doesn't exist as well or get funded as other genres in the record labels. That's very true, especially as long as we have social media that a lot of Black people are the reason behind a lot of successful social media apps, and yet they still manage to shadow ban us, edit our content, censor our content more than any other demographic on the planet. Anyways, Q, what do you think about this? You know, Al basically summed it up, you know, and I'll just add to it that artist development, especially in the urban genre, just doesn't make sense because you these people are not artists, they're products. And the label wants to keep the overhead on the product as low as possible so they can make the maximum return on their investment. And if people are going to buy the product, in this instance, consume the music <laughs> as cheaply as it's being presented, if I'm one of the bean counters in the accounting office looking at the spreadsheet, I'm going to say, why are we spending money on dance classes on Sexy Red if they're going to buy it anyway? Why are we spending money on vocal coaching on Sexy Red if they're going to buy it anyway? Why are we spending money on makeup and styling on Sexy Red if they're going to buy it anyway? Let's maximize our profits and let's zero fund all these other things that is costing this money. Screw her being an artist. We're just trying to sell a cheap product to make the most money. From a business perspective, it 100% makes sense. From an arts perspective, it's horrible. To Bow Wow's credit, I would like to see artist development come back in both, you know, rap and R&B. But as long, to your point, Claudia, as we continue to consume it, then there's no reason for them to serve it. That's right. Uh, our love. 144 says, older artists just need to realize that this is a new microwave generation. Times change 1,000%. I mean, again, you use Sexy Red as an example, so I'll just piggyback off of, the, off of that. Sexy Red blew up from one thing. The line. My pea pink, my booty hole brown. And that made everybody go, what? And we all shared that on social media. Like, this is so ridiculous. And never in a million years would I think that that would have materialized the way it did. But it did. And within six months of that line on social media, she has featured, she's featured with Drake. She's, uh, she's on tour with Drake. Songs with Nicki Minaj. So why would you, that they, they clearly spent zero money on artist development. <laughs> so I get it. If your bottom line is money, then I, I understand why they wouldn't do it.